Hello and welcome to the Tarkus Zone. Thank you for joining me. I haven't done a video in a while for my YouTube channel and I thought I'd uh, get back into it here in the springtime. And I thought, you know, why not the first springtime video be uh, a product review? And here we are. You'll see that I picked this uh, little unit up on the 20th. So today is the 24th. So I've actually took them a day to get it to me. Um, so I've owned it probably a couple days now. So I thought, you know, I'll put it through its paces, you know, because that's when you're really going to know if the product's going to suit your needs. Now, I bought this little gem because I wanted to get rid of the um, cobwebs that are on the ceiling in the, ho in the house. You know, the, the uh, spiders come in, they make these cobwebs that you don't see until wintertime because dust starts collecting on them. And you get them in the corners and you get them up by where the ceiling meets the wall. And in the past, I used to take a big uh, vacuum and carry it around the house with a hose and try to do the best I could. Or I'd get a broom and I said, you know, I think if I got something a little portable, I could make this job quite easy. So I got this little thing. And I have put it through its paces. Now, I will tell you that when you get this unit, do charge it um, for at least 24 hours. I, you know, I... I did start using it right off. <laughs> I, I didn't follow the instructions. Really. I was like, well, I just really kind of want to see if it works or not. So I ran it for maybe, it ran for maybe eight minutes before it shuts off, it's, you know, because I used up the battery. And then I did, you know, charge it for the 24. But I thought by draining the battery, battery complete, completely anyway, I thought that would be better for the unit because then it would uh, give me the full charge when it was done. Now it's got this little light that uh, is on the side of it. Uh, let's see if I can find a picture of that. On this picture, if you can see my mouse, there's a light right here. So when it sits on the base, the light comes on. Now when the light's off, that's when it's charged. So it's kind of strange because at first I thought it wasn't charging anymore. It was broken and it stopped charging. But then I turned the unit on, used it for about a minute, put it back on the charger, and the light came on. And then I waited, you know, maybe 15, 20 minutes and the light went off. So basically when the light's not on, it's fully charged. So that's, you know, you would think that a design flaw, you know, you would think that this light would be a red light when it's charging and then turns green when it's fully charged. But no, it doesn't have any light at all when it's fully charged. So that was something I had to learn about the unit. I do want to tell you that after I fully charged it, you know, I, it hasn't gone dead on me yet. I mean, I've gone around. I mean, I have vacuumed everything I could possibly vacuum with this thing. And what's great about this unit is how easy it is to clean. I mean, when I was looking at this photo, I was like, impossible. I was like, no, these things are always notorious for getting, you know, crap everywhere when you go to empty them. Because in the past, when I've used a bagless vacuum, okay, when you go to clean the bagless vacuum, it kind of poofs everywhere. Even when you go to dump it out, it just, you end up getting dust particles everywhere. And that's why my main vacuum's a bag vacuum. You know, it's, it's got a bag. So I pull the bag out, it goes in the trash. I don't have to mess around with cleaning it. So I was kind of concerned about this unit that, okay, if I go to clean it, I'm going to get that puff of, of, you know, stuff in my face or all over the cabinet just to clean this stupid thing because that's usually the thing. Not with this one. This one's actually pretty good. You can actually take it apart real conveniently and put it right into the garbage and tip it right over and it all falls out. I mean, it's lickety split. I mean, it's clean. And then you can run some water through it if that's what you wanted to do. But I've filled this container three times. And you might think, oh, Jesus, what are your house crazy dirty i no. it's not that the house was crazy dirty that i actually put some dirt down and vacuumed some dirt you know just to see if this thing could actually fill up and, and pick stuff up and i did do some areas of my basement that i it hasn't seen activity in years you know you know dog maybe drag a bony somewhere so i've been going around did the stairs i did both flights of my stairs in my house all the nicks and crannies and this thing is great i mean it picks the stuff up it fills this container right up you know and then you dump it right into the garbage without any of that discharge and if you want to rinse it out you can now there is a few things that or one thing big thing that i i like about this unit is this flip uh brush now if you're doing what i'm doing trying to clean the walls then this is like a necessity to have this flip. What it does is it flips forward and it locks into place so that you're, you get a little brush at the end of your, um, 
So yeah, this guy, this is uh, this person showing you how to dump it out. Actually, I found if you if you dump it out the other way, if you leave the nozzle on it and actually take it off the unit as though you clean the filter and just pull the filter out, then it's seamless. You know, this it looks like if you do it this way, you're gonna be shaking the unit a little bit, and you might get that discharge puffing that I'm talking about. But if if you follow my instructions, leave that nozzle on, take it out from the back end. There's one button. You push a button, and that whole that whole container uh, comes out, and uh, and you can just dump it easy peasy. But going back to um, that uh, brush, see they don't really show you. A good picture of it extended but here you can see the brush is in but you can flip it down and that that brush is very good to pick up those cobwebs can uh, and, and really in the corner the little nicking corners of my stairs right where they meet that was that was great but the design flaw is this that for someone who's short who's trying to do what I'm doing spider webs on the ceiling then you need to extend the thing. So it's got this extent. See here in this picture, it's got an ability to extend the hose, right? But the brush is fixed. So the brush does not go on the extension. So that's what irritated me the most about it is if I want to clean my uh, ceilings and I want to use the brush, I have, I, I'm losing that extension because I can't use the extension because the, the brush is not part of the extension. It's a design flaw. It'd be nice is if you extended the entire thing, like you see here, and the brush was still at the end of it. Then you could easily do your ceilings and and do your ceiling fans and doing anything in high locations without having to get on a chair. Well, what I ended up doing was did not extend it. I I, I put the brush out and I got on a chair and I and I did what I needed to do. I mean, the brush is great. I mean, it really grabs a hold of the objects and then this thing just sucks them in. And I found that when I wasn't using the brush, that the thing would kind of like get into a position where it was, you know, what it would do is suck right against it. It would suck right against the stair and I'd be like, okay. So it's not, you know, when it's completely flush against something, it's not pulling anything because you're blocking it completely. So the brush kind of gives you that distance where the thing works very well because the brush doesn't allow you to push it up against anything so that you're not getting that stoppage or because you know when you have a vacuum where you've got the whole end plugged and you hear the thing go and it just winds up because it's not sucking in air because the thing's plugged that happens with this unit when you're not using the brush and I think you know I guess some, like in this situation you don't have the brush on the end of it so if this person angled it a little bit more and pushed down that entire end would be flush against the wood and it wouldn't get any it wouldn't get any vacuuming going because you have the thing up against the wood so the brush kind of helps you alleviate that problem so I guess if I got a little tricky with it but I felt that you know just running it with the brush that it, it alleviated all my headaches it just works works very well now let's talk about the price the price you know it's about 50 bucks but the question being is do you want to do your job in a few minutes or do you want to do your job in longer time because the reality is if you got a big vacuum you're carrying around and you're having to plug it in and you got the hose and you and you're doing stairs everybody knows what a pain in the butt stairs can be when you got the big vacuum with this little gem no big anything it was like really quick i could do the entire stairs really quick and what's great about it is Anytime I see maybe something on the stairs, I got a dog, you know, I got a, a kid, a small kid that lives with us, you know, my son. Um, and, you know, you might just find something that they dropped or something. This thing, you know, Cheerio, you know, just picks it right up. It's really, uh, it really works well. And it's 16 volts. So I, you know, so, you know, it's got some, it's got some power. Now, some of the um, perks that they're telling you on the site, you know, the site here is a long life battery. If it's fully charged, I don't see you draining the entire battery in one setting. I, th I see you putting it back on the charger and never having really a problem with it running out of power. I can see maybe if you're taking the thing outside to do your car and you want to do every aspect of your car, you might be kind of pushing its light, you know, it's the battery. Um, but, the, you know, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I haven't kept the thing on to see how long it lasts, but it lasts a long time. Well, it says it's got a two-year warranty, and you know, for you know, for the um, 
unit. But they, you know, it, what I usually with these things is they either work or they don't. And if you don't get it to work in the first 30 days, if you're buying it from Amazon, just return it and tell Amazon, you know, the thing stopped working. You know, you got 30 days to return it to them. So, and, and you can see here that many people gave it, it's got a four star review out of 13,000 reviews. And we can scroll down here uh, to, uh, and, you know, there's other units that you can buy. And I did look at these other units when I was shopping around. It's just that what I liked about this unit was its, its you know, straightness, its sleekness. You can get in really, you can get in really tight spaces underneath cabinets. So let's scroll down here. You know, they they show you how the the battery works. You know, the battery doesn't just kind of you know the the unit doesn't just slow down and then it stops. It just stops when the battery's dead. It just stops. You get full. Uh, you get you're getting the full aspect of the thing until it just stops. So it's not like it, you're losing power. It, you know, with it while waiting for the battery to die down. Uh, yeah, I think it went over most of this stuff, uh, and then if you did some comparative shopping between the units, I mean, I did, I did look at this one. I imagine for seventy-two bucks, you would, um, you're gonna get what you pay for. But I was looking for for something that was, you know, within my price range. And again, you know, Amazon saying it's a number one bestseller. And what I like about Amazon when it comes to buying goods from them is you can read people's reviews. I always, I also got kind of like a formula in my head. I always take these two percentiles and add them up and then I take these two percentiles and add them up. And if the bottom two are greater than the top two, I don't even consider the product. Don't even bother considering the product. But in this situation, it's overwhelmingly when you add these two up, you know, they're not getting these bad reviews. But I've had products that I was like, you know, I don't really want this. And then I get down to the reviews and they're, you know, this is like 20% and this is 30%. And yeah, the, 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 you know, maybe 40% in the top five. But the problem being is the top two tiers are out percentaging. They're, they're, they're top, so that's how I, for first looks, that's what I do is I really, take into account some of these reviews. And some of the people will say, oh, there's people that are going to give it five stars because they're paid, blah, 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 blah. And you're not, you know, but come on. You know, when you got a, when you got a pool of 13,000 uh, reviews, you got to at least look at the numbers. I mean, and then you look at some of these um, reviews that people are talking about here. I'm reviewing it on a, on a video. And, uh, you know, five star, five star. Look at this person. They even provided a video of the actual unit. I wasn't going to bore you with that. You know, you know, I wasn't going to run the unit and show you how it works because it's a vacuum. You you kind of know how it works, right? I mean, you know, it's it, you know, again, it's a. I think it's a good product. Uh, I'm glad I'm reviewing it. I've had no problems with it. Again, I pretty I've put it through its paces, and I am quite happy with it. Well, I hope you found this review um, helpful, uh, and I will see you on my channel in the future. Thank you for joining me. This has been the Tarkus Zone.